Okay, on this one, you really need to listen up. This one's important. This one is about saturated temperature pressures. A little tough to understand. Going to try to see if I can get us all through it so we understand exactly what it is. Now you can see what I've got up there. I've got a meter set up with a temperature probe coming off here. Now it's going down the bottom of that cylinder. Now you can see the bottom of that cylinder has a little piece of insulation and the temperature probe is mounted on the bottom. That's sensing the liquid in the bottom of this. The saturated mix, mix simply means that it's something that is all the same and it's partly liquid and partly gas. Now that's refrigerant 22 and that's a mixture of liquid in the bottom and gas in the top and it's saturated because there's only one type of fluid in there and that's the R22. If we know what the temperature is in this we know what the pressure is and if we know what the pressure is we know what the temperature is. So uh, this has been turned on so we're reading a pressure right there and I'm going to get us up close so we can see a little better. Now note on the uh, meter that we are showing 63.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Now these temperature probes come with these meters. They're not super accurate. We will show you in another video how to test these and make sure that they are reasonably accurate. This one is pretty much right on the money. Uh, they will vary a little bit. They're not the best temperature probe you can use but I've found them to be serviceable for most everything I need it. You can buy dedicated electronic thermometers, uh, some with two probes. Those are better uh, than this because this just goes along with a multimeter. But let's see how close that 63.8 is to the actual pressure temperature. Now we're going to look at that on the gauge dials. Okay, here we've got the compound gauge of the manifold gauge set and we're showing just right at a little under 112 pounds, maybe 111 and a half. Okay, if you look onto down here you can see it says R12 or R502 and R22. If you follow the green one around, the 22 one, which is the uh, the second one from the center. That's this one right here. You will see that we have 60 here and it goes up to uh, pretty much 65. And we're looking real close to that 65. See we're pretty pretty close. Uh, looks like it's about 64 Okay, if that says 64, and we look over here, and we're saying 64.2. So that temperature corresponds with that pressure. The gauges that we use, these uh, manifold gauge sets, are set up with several different refrigerants on the scale. Like there's R12, 502, and 22 on this one. This is an old scale. We don't, uh, well, we're still using 22, but 502 and 12 are pretty much gone. But you can see that temperature e equals pressure. Now there are charts for this. There are pressure temperature charts. And on the Gray Cooling Man uh, website, I have those uh, links to them, and there's an app and a bunch of stuff like that. You can get them all over the internet anyway. Uh, and they will show you what the different pressures will be for the different refrigerants. Now, I'm going to change the temperature of that uh, cylinder, and let's see what happens. Okay. Now what I've done, you can see over there on the right, I've got the cylinder placed in a bucket. Now that bucket's got ice water in it. And so that's going to lower 
the saturated temperature pressure of uh, the liquid and gas mixture that's in it. Well, let's see what our gauge says. Okay, it looks like we're about 61 and right at 35 degrees. 61 equals right about 35 degrees. Okay, let's go over and look at what the uh, temperature probe says. Okay, it says 34.1. It's an accurate representation anyway of what the temperature is if you know the pressure. Pressure is equal temperature. Temperature equals pressure. Uh, we can always use this in our industry to tell things about the refrigeration system that we want to know. Or we wanted to know what the temperature was that it was boiling at. Then if I read the gauge and I read the pressure, and you'll get to where you don't pay a lot of attention to pressure because you're more interested in temperature, you will start reading the scale for the refrigerant you're using. You know, different refrigerants, it's going to be different, but, uh, but it all equals out because the temperature pressure will work with any refrigerant that is pure. Uh, it'll work with blends too, but it's, that's a little more complicated. Uh, so we have a temperature gauge on that pressure gauge. That is a temperature gauge. And we make a lot of thermometers that read temperatures just that way. Uh, many thermometers are uh, saturated mixes of some kind of refrigerant, and the gauge itself is really just a pressure gauge. So the relationship between temperature and pressure is one of our most important uh, relationships. And it does work out unless the refrigerant is contaminated with some other sort of material in it, uh, some different gas or if it's got air in it or something like that. But other than that, that is temperature pressure. And it works, it is accurate for measuring what's going on inside the pipes. And that's it on saturated pressure.